the Prime Minister Robin Alabanja says the plan will focus on six policy guidelines as directed by President Yoram Museveni. These guidelines include production, distribution and certification of seeds and stocking material, disease control, agriculture mechanization and irrigation, farmer production and mobilization, partnership with big landowners, as well as intervention in the fisheries sector. So that those that are still locked up in a subsistence livelihood can join the money economy. This, according to the Prime Minister, is meant to rejuvenate agricultural production, productivity and profitability. The campaign kicks off on 18th of August in the Greater Movende region. We will provide farmers with practical information on how to tap into the agricultural potential of our country and improve household income. Some people are still depending on the hope. We shall advise them to adopt technologies that can help them to increase on their acreage. But we shall also advise them on technologies that can help them to get more from the same acreage. For example, if you irrigate, you can get more produce from the same acreage. If you use fertilizers, you can get more. So we shall... The only way people, our people can get money is through work. Work. That even the money that we give under different programs, for example, under MIOGA, under PDM, is basically to help our people to improve on their economic well-being. Stakeholders from the agriculture sector, including farmers, dealers in agro-inputs, agro-processors, value addition experts, among others, are said to have been brought on board. Nabanja says unlike several calls that have fallen on a deaf ear, this approach is bound to see results. By this time we are saying, let us, under the umbrella of the office of the Prime Minister, move there together. And I believe if the Ministry of Agriculture is talking about production, and the Ministry of Lands is protecting the land for farmers to be safe on their land. The Ministry of Environment is talking about how to protect our environment. The Ministry of Disaster Preparedness is also giving them early warning signals. The Ministry of, 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 of Local Government is talking about PDM. The Ministry of Finance is talking about something different. Agriculture has for years been a backbone for Uganda's economy engaging 65% of the country's population indirectly or directly. However, a lot still needs to be done, especially to raise how much is collected from the sector, with many products exported in a raw form. The State Minister for Agriculture, Chakula Gawino Frederick, says several attempts like tax exemptions have been put in place to see more Ugandans engage in modernized agriculture to boost the sector. Whatever is not consumed fresh, whatever is not consumed fresh should be processed into the final product rather than selling it as a raw material. So the policy guideline is there. We shall develop that into finer, finer uh, detailed laws, detailed regulations, detailed guidelines. The agriculture sector faces several challenges like unreliable drought, poor seedlings and agricultural inputs, disasters among others. These have not just limited the quantity of the agricultural products but also the quality. Whether the campaign sees government come up with permanent solutions to these challenges, time will tell. Ramson Mihire, Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.